talk about DC fandom. Now, last year we have the first DC fandom, and it was a great event. Now, that event was used to promote the upcoming DC projects, and that included movies, TV shows, games, comics and all of that and we get the the first trailer for the Batman with Robert Pattinson and and first trailer for Gotham Knights Suicide Squad killed the Justice League the, the, the Snyder Cut it was a really great event from start to finish now they're coming back this year with another DC fandom. So let's see if the they can recreate the same hype and energy from the last one. And let's see what will be new in this new DC fandom. So this article is from Collider. So let's take a look. It says DC Fandom 2021 details. His was going to be revealed for the Batman, the Flash, and more. So they said there's a new The Batman trailer coming and even a new a The Flash sneak peek. So here is the the poster for the promotion. So let's take a look here. DC has revealed its DC fandom event is coming back this October with a new trailer for Matt Reeves the Batman and the first sneak peek at Andy Muschietti the Flash movie. Just as we the 2000 edition year DC fan that will be online event completely free for fans during the fandom DC will make announcement and show exclusive content from feature films television series game and comics and feature showing their surveillance what DC says Fans can expect a lot of surprises in the next DC fandom. We already have a lot of confirmed content that's for sure to grab the fans' attention. Besides a new trailer for the Batman and a sneak peek at the Flash movie, Warner Bros. picture will also unveil the first look at Black Adam. New content from DC Leash Lee of Super Pass and behind the scenes look at Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and Shazam Fury of the Gods. And it says here the CW verse will also be present will, will also be present in the fandom as Warner Brothers Television will offer a look at new seasons of Bam, Batwoman, The Flash, and Superman and Lois. There will also be a farewell tribute to Supergirl as a precious is epic conclusion of the six seasons and a celebration of 100 episodes of DC Legends of Tomorrow finally. DC fandom will also give the first look at Naomi and a sneak peek at the upcoming episode of DC Star Girl. And also here they have outside the CW verse, fans of DC te television series will also get news about Sweet Tooth that's on Netflix and James Gunn Peacemaker that's the John Cena show 
limited event series premiere. Season 3 of the adult comedy series Harley Quinn will be excited for the John Justice Phantoms or new upcoming series by Kate Crusader, upcoming limited series Aquaman King of Atlantis as well as returning favorites such as Titans and Doom Patrol. There's also something for gamers. In the upcoming DC fandom as Warner Bros. game will feature new reviews from the highly anticipated Gotham Knights developed by Warner Bros. Games Montreal and Suicide Squad Q to Justice League developed by Rusted Studios. Finally, DC fandom will preview two upcoming original DC animated films as sneak peek as Superman and the rest of the Justice League in Injustice and an all new animated movie inspired by the popular game and comic as well as the premiere of the trailer for the all new animated heist movie Catwoman Hunter. So I believe yes and you can and DC Fandom will stream on Saturday, October 16th, 1 p.m. Eastern. And the event will be available on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and on DC Fandom's official website. So, that's very promising. Now, I have to say, I'm, I'm very, very excited for this event. So, of course, I'm really excited for this new Bam, this new trailer for the Batman, and um, and maybe get some glimpse of the story and and seeing Catwoman her outfit, see more of Colin Farrell as the Penguin, and more of that. And uh, they recently have a screening test for the Batman and the reaction are very very positive so I'm really looking for that one I believe the film it will be released on March of next year 2022 also we also going to have a sneak peek at the Flash movie now that that movie I'm very interesting because we seen behind the scene and set photos there there will be possible an evil flash an evil Barry Allen and we also know that Michael Keaton is coming back and we also have Supergirl and we also have Ben Affleck as Batman this is his last movie as the Batman and this movie has so much going for and I really want to see how the movie looks uh, I'm guessing they're going to show us footage for for the Flash and maybe Michael Keaton as Batman back in action maybe a couple of shots or scenes from action sequences of the movie that would be extremely good and very exciting now we also going to have the first look at Black Adam and I really want to see of course, Dwayne Johnson's with the four suit on, but also the rest of the cast, especially uh, Dr. Fame, is played by P Pierce Brosnan. Um, I'm very curious how he looks in the suit. 
so that would be interesting to see and of course we're going to have uh, behind the scenes of Aquaman the Last Kingdom but that's because the movie is coming in production so they're, they're, not, they're not going to give us a trailer or a teaser like that now Shazam now Shazam rap filming I believe a couple of days ago but I believe Shazam Fear of, of the Gods that movie comes out by the end of 2022 or maybe early 2023 so it's way too early to to give us a teaser or something like that to really promote this movie in one year or even more in advance so obviously they're not going to do that as for the CW shows I mean they're, they're not the best but some I um, enjoy either way I, I watch them because they always somehow hook me but I admit that they're not the best so I'm curious to see what, what they're going to show us new for the new seasons of the Bam, the Batwoman, the Flash, a couple of the cast, of the main cast of the Flash that are not coming for, they are not coming back for the new season. So let's see how how they're going to manage that. And Superman Lois, fear Superman Lois is really a great show, especially for a CW show. So if you haven't checked Superman Lois, I really recommend it. Also, we have Supergirl and DC Legends of Toronto and Naomi. That's the new series, and I believe that is from Eva Eva Duvain. I believe she is producing or writing. She's very involved with this show. So I'm very curious to, to see that first look. It's a new superhero show. And we also have This is Star Girl. That show really it was good the first couple of episodes and then it, it fell down. Sadly. Sweet 2, now that's very interesting because Sweet 2 is on Netflix, so uh, the, the Warner Brothers need to to keep off their properties in the same roof, like you have Sweet 2 and that's from DC but it's on Netflix, why it's not on HBO Max, so I don't know. And they're producing the, the show, so. So James Gunn Peacemaker, and I'm very interested to see the response of this show. I believe this is coming in January, very early in 2022. So I'm guessing the show is going to be extremely violent. And if you have watched the Suicide Squad, so you know how how violent the character is and it's an interesting character but I'm curious to see the response of audience to this show and of course the new season of Harley Quinn that, that, that's one of the best shows of animation I really really recommend it just, it's just an excellent show now John Justin, the last season was not very good for me, but uh, I'm willing to give it a shot for the new for the new season. And the, this is a new series for the Batman, and it's called Batman Cake Crusader. So I'm 
let's see if they can manage to capture the same energy and style in of the original Batman animated series because that that's, that series was phenomenal and of course a common limited series Aquaman King of Atlanta I believe that is an animated I might be wrong as well with John and Favre, Titans and Doom Patrol Titan this season of Titan is very good and I believe there are only four episodes and I really like it and also I really want to see more of Gotham Knights and more of the story and I want a release date when is this game coming now and the Suicide Squad game killed the Justice Thursday now that sounds very promising and let's see if they give us a release date also for that game maybe maybe it will come out by the end of 2022 or maybe early 2023 so we'll keep an eye on that and of course I someone tweeted about this they are making a solo Catwoman movie so Catwoman Hunter let's see let's see how that turns out I believe that that movie is already done so that movie can they can release that movie in this year in a couple of months and I believe also just the Injustice movie are also finished so they can release the, those two movies in, in the couple of months ahead and I will have preferred those will be I don't think they're going to be a HBO Max exclusive but I hope so I really hope so So yes, that that's it. So those are my thoughts on the DC fandom of what's coming. So uh, let's get ready for this event. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button and let me know in the comments below. Wow. Why are you most excited to see at this event? And like always, thank you for watching. See you guys later.